I'm Dr. Michel Cohen, founder of Tribeca Pediatrics. Over 20 years ago, I started my first office in Tribeca, in a storefront, which was also the place where I raised my three kids. The goal was to provide a personable and old-fashioned approach to pediatrics by being available to families in our neighborhood. But another goal was to deliver a very high quality of medicine and helping parents raise their kids while I was raising my own. My philosophy is simple, avoid over-medicating children. And some 20 years later, the original mom and pop office in Tribeca has given birth to several satellite offices in other neighborhoods of the city. They are staffed with the most experienced, dedicated and personal both providers who have joined me over the years to deliver the same high quality of medicine with the same philosophy. Please hear what they have to say about Tribeca Pediatrics. We take our time during the visits. We don't just focus on the ears, eyes, nose, throat, heart, and lungs. Some parents want to talk to us about parenting issues. What's the best way to talk to my child when they're having a new sibling? Newborn care, sleeping, breastfeeding. The visits aren't simply about height and weight and vaccines. It's really about your whole child. Having two kids of my own and having difficulty breastfeeding my first little girl, I tend to spend a lot of time talking about breastfeeding and the importance of breastfeeding. We often follow the baby's weight very closely and make sure that they're gaining weight and then we'll provide any guidance or support for the breastfeeding for the mom. We have extensive classes that we will host to help you with breastfeeding. We have lactation consultants that we work with. Given the fact that there is so much information about breastfeeding that can be quite conflicting, the doctor's visit are a good place to uh, get advice and really solid guidance. When parents come to a newborn visit, they're always concerned about when their baby is going to sleep through the night. We're here to help you make that dream come true for everyone in the family. And sleeping through the night means a good 10 to 12 hours straight. Just so that they get a restful night and parents get a restful night too. When babies sleep, parents are happier. When parents are happier, babies are happier. And we will give you advice and techniques and your child really can sleep through the night. At Tribeca Pediatrics, we administer the American Academy of Pediatrics recommended schedule of immunizations. So you'll get all your shots here uh, during those visits. We feel that immunizations are also um, a partnership with parents. Some parents are concerned about vaccines and we do address that with each visit. We talk about which vaccines are being given, what their side effects are, and what things to look for. And we'll let you know what your child is due for and why, why we're giving you those vaccines. Our job as provider is to educate you and give you all of the information. That way you can have an informed decision as to whether you want to vaccinate your child. The best thing about Tribeca Pediatrics is our team. We have a wonderful staff behind the scenes. There's a wonderful group of providers, both doctors and nurse practitioners. We have really great camaraderie amongst all the staff. Um, we're in constant communication with each other. We all work very closely together, so even in different offices, we're always communicating. If I have a complicated patient, I can bounce my concerns, thoughts off of lots of other doctors. So you really get the best of both worlds. You get the one-on-one -on -one interaction with your provider, plus you get the expertise and the, the knowledge base of a whole team. As new parents, you want to make sure that your pediatrician is readily available. There's always someone following up so you don't feel like you're alone at any point in the process. If it's an emergency, you could call her after hours number, it just rolls right over to our cell phone. You're not going to have an answering service that takes down your name and phone number and calls you back. You're going to get just us. Every single night of the year, even if something comes up at 2 in the morning, you'll hear a familiar voice. When I started Tribeca Pediatrics 20 years ago, it was all about providing a very good service and avoiding over-medicating kids. 20 years later, this philosophy still stands strong. We don't want to over-treat and to intervene where there doesn't need to be intervention. And this actually takes a lot of effort, a lot of explanation, but in the end, it's a much better medicine. Say your child has their first cold. There really aren't any medications to make them better. We try to make you and your child get through that first cold as comfortable as possible. We always discuss supportive care measures such as uh, fever control, pain control, fluid hydration, and rest. Rarely is medication really indicated, and when it is, 
we usually are very clear about it. So if a child is not getting better or does require a medication, of course we would prescribe that. But when kids can really heal on their own, we're happy to sit and wait and to have very close follow-up with our families. We would rather call you every day and check in to see how your child's doing as opposed to giving them straight antibiotics. We try to listen to the specific child and specific symptoms before taking a cookie cutter approach. Look, it makes my eyes sparkle. Hello. Even though our practice has grown quite a bit, we have never lost our personal touch. Oh. <laughs> I really try in every office to be very personable, to make sure that you feel like you're a part of the community, a part of the practice. We have happy employees, happy children. It's a great place for us to work at as providers. Just the way the office is designed, I find that children after their appointments don't even want to leave. It's a neighborhood practice, it's intimate. We know our parents by first name. Parents feel that we're really there for them. And it doesn't feel like you're coming into some sterile medical institution for your child. It feels like family.